Hello Clash here. Going to do a quick video kind of exploring the new uh, social features <clears throat> and the friendly challenge uh, with friends in the game. So as you can see, if you look on the upper left corner here, <clears throat> there's a little dot by my little uh, name up there signifying that there's some kind of a friend request on the social tab. <clears throat> you can see the red 2 up there. Um, and so I've got a, a request from my mini account here. And that is a friend. And then uh, one of my uh, clan mates in the R Clash Royale clan and YouTube watcher, Alfredo. So he's going to help us out today. Now we got on our friend list. I show up myself. And so now we are going to... So we can... Uh, he's in here. We can see his profile. Um, he's a new Town Hall 8. Um, <clears throat> we can view his clan. He's in student power. Look at their war log. Um, we can go back and let's see what else can we do. We can remove them. We won't do that. Visit his base. Got kind of a southern teaser thing going on here. Let's see, here, I'll go back to my social tab. And I can invite him. I was thinking. There was a way to challenge him. Hmm. Well, it was interesting. I thought I read in the notes that there was a. So, invite successfully sent. Let's see what that does. I don't know if that's an invite for the clan or an invite to join the clan. So you can invite people that are in other clans to join you. So that's new. <coughs> and I guess then you can battle them or challenge them once they're in your clan. So that's how the social tab feature works. Let's see if he uh, yeah. All right, took a little bit, but let's uh, <coughs> jump in. <coughs> So my uh, 68k Town Hall 9 will probably be a bit challenging for him. He's definitely uh, scouting the base. So he's going to drop his giants right into a heal there. Only level 4 giants. Uh, he's got some level 4 wizards. I do think I have a clan castle full of minions. So let's see if he can trigger that. And he might be... Uh, so his Town Hall 7 troops <coughs> are uh, quickly getting melted. Let's see how his uh, level 1 Valkyries... See how much... Uh, they can get into the base. They should be drowned by the queens. Hopefully he's quick with the poison, otherwise the minions are gonna be trouble. Uh, doing alright. Under heal. Holding up. Got those minions down. So maybe get that town hall. I don't know if they're gonna path correctly to get there. Rue's got some, some CC miners there. So you can see they'll sneak onto the uh, give me a uh, GT. So if we can 
queue up some. Uh, so this is the new queue. Still getting used to this. Uh, we'll train up those Valkyries for my clanmate. So let's. Uh, I got a farming army trimmed up here. Don't need to spend much time uh, scouting his base. He does have the new bomb tower down, so you can see that right there. <clears throat> so we'll uh, let's see. We'll drop a couple archers up here to take that stuff out, and we're just gonna charge right in. We'll do a queen charge with some healers on it, and then our walk right into this base here. We know that he's got miners, so that's probably a little unfair. I'll wait till my queen takes out this first air defense here, and then I'll probably uh, commence with the rest of my troops. I'll probably start the the giant and uh, some healers and a and the king coming in on the other side there. Good thing I got sixteen. Wall breakers, that'll be super helpful here. We'll rage up the, uh, the healers. They both are on the queen now, which is uh, not that helpful. We'll drop these baby drags and let them do some work here. Get the king's ability. Not that exciting of a raid, but we're just testing the friendly challenge feature. We thought <clears throat> we could do it across clans. That doesn't appear to be the case, but you can invite somebody directly from another clan, even when they're in a clan. That's definitely changed. You never used to be able to invite somebody when they were in a clan. You had to wait till they were, uh, I think, in global or not in a clan to uh, to invite them. So let's uh, have some fun with these wall breakers. That's a friendly challenge. Watch them eat away at these walls. See the. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully get this queen to level twenty-seven here pretty soon. Um, all right, I'm gonna end this here quick. Not that exciting. Just playing around with the new gameplay. Um, Get rid of some of these. Uh, we'll give him a. Uh, some of the troop donations. So what else is new? <clears throat> so they uh, they uh, updated the uh, the skeleton spell so we can how do we even look at that now all right so we can look at it here so now at level one it's 15 skeletons which should be a lot more and a lot slower deployment um, so it'll be interesting to see that i think we'll see that a little more in uh, battle um, the quick train i saved kind of a farming army here it's not that's my previous army uh, so i haven't created any armies yet um, let's create an army. Uh, so my typical farming army, a couple of funnel drags, a giant just in case I want to take on a bunch of point defenses. Let's bring a few wall breakers. Let's see here. What can I, I can save spells too? So I usually bring three rages and a jump. Why won't I go? And a poison, which maybe a skeleton spell might be something in the mix. Uh, so it's 120 uh, troops, and we'll bring a bunch of archers, five minions. What else do we want to bring here? We'll bring a handful of wizards, one hog in case we need to lure a CC. We'll bring more minions here. It's nice because it teaches, shows you how much that you're using, what you'll need to profit 
to make, um, we'll just bring the rest of these arches for funneling here. And that's, this will be pretty close to my typical army comp for farming. So let's save that. You can see, so the cost of that is about 270,000 elixir, but only a couple hundred dark. And largely that's the, uh, the spells and the minions there. Um, so we'll save that. Now that's queued up and I can train that whenever I want for a farming army. So, um, this is how this, all those spells are all queued up, even though I've got full spells, those are the ones that I can donate, um, because I actually have four rages in my current army, um, and then you can see all the troops that are trained outside of my queue, um, compared to what I actually have in my camp. So, that's kind of a, you know, it's definitely taken some use to, to get used to this new style here, um, Do get my bomb tower down here. Where did I put it here? It's right there. Um, so that's kind of a quick intro to the new update. Lots of things to check out. We're about ready to have a war in a couple hours. It's a little later than usual because of the delay to the, uh, the update time today. So maybe it'll be a recap and we'll show you maybe how the uh, the bomb towers worked in this war, uh, how our troops fared, how our enemies fared against our bomb towers. Um, so that's kind of the new social feature there in the tab. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You can only search players by their tag. You can't search them by their names. But I think you can search clans. So clans, search. So you could find a Reddit clan. Um, go there. You could click on somebody profile and you can add them as a friend right from there so if you know what clan they're in there you don't have to put their clan tag in and you can add them that way so that's a tip for you uh, well thanks for watching this uh, clash clans video uh, let me know if there's something you want to see in the new update questions leave a comment thanks for watching